The world goes so crazy over everything because they're hungry and they're searching and they're looking for something. And guess who has what they're looking for? You do. The Bible says you have it in this earthen vessel. The Bible says you are the light of the world. You're supposed to be the salt of the earth. And if the salt has lost its savor, if you have no ability to make somebody thirsty for what you've got, what good is it? What good is it? Really? So we have Jesus giving us the Great Commission. We have Paul here in the Macedonian call. And if, listen, you might be able to listen to those calls today and ignore them. Many have. He's called many people to preach. Many people, anyone that's ever been saved, he's called to be a witness, and many people ignore that. Yeah. You might be able to ignore the deafening roars of those of your fellow man as they walk the planet lost and undone and on their way to hell. You might be able to ignore those. But I guarantee you today there is another call that would be hard to ignore if God would allow us to hear it this morning. Do you remember one of the pleas of the rich man as he burned in the torments of hell? He said, please send somebody. He said at that time, send Lazarus. But today, they would be satisfied with whoever it is. Lord, send somebody to tell my family, to tell my friends not to come to this terrible, awful place of torment. If we could get a glimpse, if we could get just to listen to that this morning, the cries of the damned, they cry, listen, don't sit on your church pew and let my family split hell wide open. Tell somebody about Jesus before it's too late. Now, there's a cry from hell today that pleads with the church, please, tell somebody, warn people about this awful place. I think if God would allow us to get a vision of that, if He would allow us to get hear just a little bit of that this morning, we might not find that so easy to get rid of out of our mind. We might not find that so easy this morning, Brother Sleece, to ignore. Amen? Oh, you can ignore the call of God on your life. You'll be, discomfort you'll be, you'll be uncomfortable in doing it. You'll, you'll experience some discomfort because you know, man, you know, I, I know the Lord wants me to do that, but I ain't going to do it. You can ignore those around you as they're lost and undone and on their way to hell. And I don't think anybody would be able to easily ignore the cries of the damned from the pits of hell that not only cry for mercy for themselves, and we can prove that in Luke the 16th chapter. Go over there and read it. He wasn't just crying out. He did. He said, please send some water. I'm tormented. But He didn't stop there, brothers. Please. He said, please send Him. Send Lazarus to my brothers and tell them not to come to this awful place. Well, there's a cry that comes up from hell today. That's another reason we do what we do. Because there are untold millions that cry out, tell my family, tell my friends, tell the world. Tell them don't come to this awful place. Hallelujah. The Great Commission. We have to have a vision of the Great Commission. Doing that which Jesus commanded before He ascended into the clouds. Go ye into all the world and preach the Gospel to every man. You're the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Matthew 5 and 15 says, Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Did you hear that? A man doesn't light a candle and just take it and hide it just for the light for himself. But the Bible uses the example of putting it on a candlestick and then everybody in the house has the light. Oh my goodness, I wish we could get a vision this morning of taking the Gospel. I'd never have to ask for another offering. I'd never have to send out another email asking people to send in an extra offering. I'd never have to put in the newsletter we need partners because people would be knocking down our doors. Here, I want you to take this. I want you to preach it on more radio stations. I want you to do more for the Lord. I want to be part of what's going on here. You're the light of the world. Let your light shine before men. Amen. Hallelujah. Fulfill the Great Commission. That is the charge given to the church. And I don't know about you. I think I do. Those under the sound of my voice, especially those that are here, I know you better than those that are out there. I wave radio, but I know you want to be a part of what God's doing in these last days. 
reaching the lost with the gospel of Jesus Christ before it's eternally too late. Because I got news for you. You can keep putting it off, but one day you're going to be out of time, and those that you needed to tell are going to be out of time. Because it ain't going to be like the seven day Advents believe. Once you're dead, you're not going to get somebody to preach the gospel to you and have an opportunity to accept Jesus. You'll do it in this life or you won't do it ever. Amen. That's what the Bible says. I didn't write that. We've been given this life to be the light. We've been given this life to receive Jesus. And if we don't do that, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. Somebody else this morning.